And we are live once again. Hello and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel where hot rodding and romance do coexist. I'm your host, Prince Magnum. Welcome, welcome, welcome once again to Surviving Romance. All right, today on Surviving Romance, it's time to get cooking again. All right. Now, a little while back, we talked about doing a brown rice salad. Now, uh, for those who do not know, uh, brown rice is probably one of the most difficult of all the rices to cook. It's very difficult. Um, so what we're going to do in this particular episode is we're going to, I'm going to show you all an easy way that I found uh, through a little bit of research and all that good stuff. Uh, the easiest way that I found to cook rice, okay? So, that's what we're going to do today, and uh, hopefully, uh, at the end of all of this, you guys will have this really awesome recipe to work with. Do with it as you please. All right, so, let's get underway. Let's not waste any time at all. I have a cup and a half of brown rice, just stuff you buy off the shelf. Now, uh, real quick, kind of a few tips uh, with your brown rice. If you're going to store it for a while, this does have uh, a types of oils that will go rancid over time. So if you want to slow down the spoilage process, put it in your freezer, good for six months to a year. Just keep an eye on it, okay? So I've got your standard medium grain brown rice that you can buy at like Walmart or just any local Mega Mart for that matter. So uh, into my special dish uh, which I bought at, um, believe it or not, I bought this at a yard sale for about $4. And this has been one of the best rice, uh, brown rice vessels I could have asked for. It's kind of an all-in-one deal, okay? Uh, right now I'm waiting for two and a half cups of water, a tablespoon of butter, and a tablespoon of uh, kosher salt to come back up to somewhat of a boil, okay? I already, uh, basically, it's all together. And we're going to go ahead and uh, in just a moment, I'm going to pour this all in. And then I'm going to kind of give the rice a little bit of a stir. We're going to slap some foil on it. We're going to throw it in the oven for about an hour, okay? Um, in the meantime, we've got some other stuff we're going to do along with uh, all of this. And at the end, we're going to have a nice brown rice salad along with a few other odds and ends. Now, unfortunately, because I'm not wearing my corrective vision glasses and I'm not close enough if anybody comes on and uh decides they want to leave it you know i won't be able to see your comment right now we'll get to that in just a little bit okay um so we're gonna start with all of that all right and we're already back up to a boil okay real quick take this off the burner and we're gonna pour it directly onto the rice I had an old coffee pot and I kept it for that. No need to buy an electric kettle when I've already got the equipment. I mean, it works just fine. Whatever. Okay, so that is done. The oven is already preheated to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, for our uh, Celsius friendly friends, um, we'll, I'll let you do, do the math on that, okay? Now, we're going to seal this up tight, tight, because if too much moisture escapes, it'll dry the rice, and that's not what we want. Now, some of you might be saying, Prince Magnum, why don't you do this on the cooktop? You could do this on the cooktop, yeah, and it usually doesn't work out. I've tried that a million different ways, and it always goes bad. So let's just skip all that and get on it with it like this. You'll find that this works, this method works a lot better. So, into the oven, we're going to start our timer for one hour, okay? So, in the meantime, this gives you a chance to get the rest of your prep work done. Now, to go along with this salad, I've got a can of sliced water chestnuts. I have a vinaigrette that I basically put into a jar. We're going to give that a good shaking and uh, kind of stir it up a little bit. Uh, two tablespoons of, uh, of uh, extra virgin olive oil, uh, a teaspoon of brown rice, a teaspoon of mustard uh, powder, 
And uh, believe it or not, two teaspoons for the vinegar part from our from our pickles that we made a couple weeks ago. Oh, and we're gonna need these for this recipe. In the meantime, while we're not doing a heck of a whole lot, y'all remember the bread and butter pickles that we did? That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Hang on a second. While we're killing time, not the time did anything wrong to us, why don't we take a moment this was the bread and butter pickles. They're gone, okay? But let's, uh, you can reuse pickles. Well, the pickle juice, okay? So we're gonna dump this back in to our little, uh, you know, non-used coffee pot, and we're gonna bring this up, kinda bring it back to a boil, okay? Um, this can go over here out of the way. Um, which I've got tons of dishes to do. <laughs> uh, we're going to bring this back up to a boil. Uh, take about uh, three, uh, three full uh, heads of garlic. Peel them fine, okay? No paper on these, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you all really cool, uh, something really cool that you could do with this. And at the same time, this is going to set up future recipes here on the channel. So we'll get to that just shortly, okay? So, uh, for this recipe, if you decided to do the melody like I used, that's right here, okay? So we are definitely going to use that. And uh, slice yourself up some garlic too, okay? We'll get to all of that, the salad later, but right now, we're going to work on some pickled garlic. All right? I know, pickled garlic? Really, Prince Magum? Exactly. I know, it sounds crazy, but it, it'll work. It'll work. Trust me on this. <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna the reason why we're bringing this up to a boil is uh, in case um, some of uh, in case along the way some um, stuff that is resilient to vinegar decided to make its way into the brine even though I didn't get sick for instance Faye didn't get sick it's just a precautionary measure okay so again I know we have somebody watching uh, you know Two, two and a half, three, he uh, three uh, heads of garlic right here, okay? In this jar, make sure it's good and clean. <laughs> sound sanitation, folks, sound sanitation, okay? So uh, we're, just we're just bringing this back up to a boil. It'll be done soon. And once we do that, uh, we're going to go into the office, and, uh, and then what we're going to do is if anybody has any questions, uh, wants to just kind of chit chat and you know get some stuff out and about whatever the case may be you know uh, that sort of thing uh, we'll go ahead and do that at that time while we're waiting for the hour timer okay and then we'll come back we'll uh, we'll make up the the brown rice salad and uh, and uh, we'll see if Princess Faye is very hungry if you catch my meat so. all right Mm, oh, I'm sorry. I did it to y'all again. What a jerk I am sometimes. <laughs> okay. Again, um, now, again, uh, I'm doing this particular recipe uh, because a couple of people in uh, on the pickle episode had told me that they would like to see me do uh, some vegan recipes. Well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Okay. Yeah, give me a give me a bit here. I'm kind of I'm working, man. I'm working. <laughs> okay. And uh, the the purpose behind this is that uh, we wanted. Uh, I'm trying to do my best to try to meet the needs of of, of people uh, here on the Prince Magnum channel. Uh, you know, because some people ask me, you know, uh, can we do? Could we see more vegetarian or vegan recipes? And uh, I'm not a bit. I'm a. I'm a carnivore. Uh, you know, I like. I like eating uh, a lot of different. Uh, a lot of different meats. I'm. I like my pork products, uh, bacon. You know, pork chops, things like that. But I know all of you out there aren't the same way that I am. Okay. And uh, I know Princess Faye uh, has been trying to eat healthier. So, 
if you're trying to do these things, that's exactly what we're trying to do here, okay? So, this is now pretty well at a nice boil. Okay, so we're gonna take the top off of this. There we go. And I'm gonna try to pour this without incinerating my fingers. We're gonna let that cool down for just a minute, okay? It's perfectly okay to leave it it's vinegar. I don't wanna leave it on the burner. Okay, so if y'all would like, let's go into the office for right now. And we're gonna chit chat. Um, I guess also, y'all are gonna watch a very bad juggling act, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do this best I can. All right, and y'all are going to come with me to the office, to Prince Magnum's office, and you all can ask me your questions. Ask your questions. I will do my best to give you the best information I can. Okay. Um, and I am doing a very poor job at this. There we go. There we are. Ah. Ta-da! Here we are, once again. Mm. One of these times I'm going to have to do that joke. This is what you all look like to me. <laughs> all right. There we go. So, all right. First things first. Um, whoa. Okay. First things first, let's talk about um, uh, today. I mean, I did add butter uh, to uh, one tablespoon of butter to this. Uh, to my knowledge, you can uh, swap out the butter for, obviously, if you're a bacon lover, you could swap out the, uh, the butter for bacon drippings and it'll give it a bacon flavor. Uh, if you're a vegan, vegetarian, and don't like the idea of using butter, or you're on strict dietary, you know, needs and things like that, uh, it's perfectly okay. Do not panic. Uh, you know, uh, classic olive oil or even grapeseed oil it, it will work for this application. Just, you know, teaspoon, okay? Keep it at that ratio. And uh, I wouldn't put it in the, the, uh, the boiling water. The salt, I would, because you need the salt to you know, to dissolve, um, that sort of thing. Okay. So definitely, 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 uh, that's to your advantage. All right. So you can swap out. <laughs> What's going on? Good to see you. Well, it's good that you're on. <laughs> Let's not complicate things. Mm. It's a brown rice episode. Uh, you know, so, if you like uh, if you like brown rice, that's exactly what we did. Um, basically, right now the brown rice uh, we've already put it into a boiling water solution. It's in the oven and it has to uh, 375 degrees, uh, covered by aluminum foil. You you like brown rice, so this is definitely your episode. Uh, we're gonna do a brown rice salad, and I was just discussing that um, the different ways that you can. Uh, uh, make this into a complete vegan dish. We did use butter, you know, uh, we did use butter, but you could swap out uh, different oils, um, you know, and I was explaining how, you know, what I would use in this particular case uh, if you're trying to keep it completely and totally vegan. Um, you could use uh, classic olive oil. You could use... Uh, uh, or cold pressed olive oil, you know, however your uh, supermarket uh, markets it. Um, you could use uh, grapeseed oil, or if you're a bacon lover, if you like your bacon, which, you know, I'm I'm the kind of guy, you know, I, I openly admit, you know, I'm a carnivore type, I'll, eat, I'll gnaw on a bone, you know, I don't care. Uh, but I know a lot of people out there, uh, like my, you know, uh, you know, like my sister-in-law, she's kind of a vegan type. 
Oh, she gave that up? All right. But I know there's a lot of you out there and, um, you know, that, and that's, that's fine. That's fine. You know, um, you know, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm, if there's one thing that you all will learn about me, it, I don't tell anybody what to do. So that, you know, you know, do it like me. I don't, that's not my place. Uh, if anything, um, you know, I tell people, you do you, because there's days that I don't even know what I'm doing, you know? So, <laughs> you know, so how can I tell anybody else what to do? Um, you know, and, uh, and in this, uh, in, in this salad recipe today, we will be using, uh, some of the pickles that, uh, we made a couple weeks ago. So, uh, that was what that episode was really for. And of course we just pickled some garlic, uh, which we'll use in a later episode. See how that works. Uh, show how to do a bread and butter style, uh, garlic, uh, actual pickled garlic, which we'll use down the road. Um, I got a pretty good idea what we're going to use. Uh, you know, so, and, uh, and, and the vinaigrette that we're going to be using for this brown rice salad, uh, we actually used some of the, the pickled brine that we used, um, you know, a couple weeks ago, you can, because they're refrigerator pickles and, uh, they're not the, the ones, uh, um, there's really two, two different types of pickles. There's your brined pickles, uh, that, uh, like the kosher dills and things like that, where you create a brine solution and bacteria will kind of crash the crock, if you will, and, uh, create a, a lactic acid that, uh, that does the pickling for you. And to my knowledge, I mean, I've never seen it actually done, but I've been told that uh, when you do this at home, it bubbles just like you're making beer. Uh, not that I've ever done that, but you know, I've seen plenty of episodes uh, uh, on how to make beer. Hey, alcoholic one to know. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> the other, <laughs> okay, so you know, you know. Um, that being said, uh, the other, uh, the other type is, uh, the, where you make a, a brine and you bring on the acid yourself, uh, which is what we did a couple weeks ago. Uh, and of course, uh, I've been, uh, nibbling on the, uh, <laughs> you don't recommend making, I, I've been told that, uh, that that uh beer making is a pain in the neck it, it's very difficult um so my hat's off to anyone who does it um you know really wow see i'm learning things but uh but because of the refrigerator style pickles that we did a couple weeks ago uh you can use that brine <laughs> You'll end up with me. Um, I have stories to tell, but I won't do it on surviving romance. We'll have to do that one day. And uh, it's it, we'll have to do a sober talk episode. What it was like before I before I got sober because I, I've got some I got some horror stories that would a lot of people when I tell them today a lot of people are like I I just can't see that as you you know, um, you know just one of them things. But anyhow, uh, so we have a, so we've got our vinaigrette on standby. We'll have to give that a good shake before we use it on the, on the uh, the rice. Uh, we're going to use uh, some of that uh, vegetable melody and water chestnuts. So um, it's definitely going to be interesting. Uh, normally, I make this uh, salad with bacon. This is going to be the first time that there's really not any meat product in it. Uh, what we're seeing today is a vegetarian, a vegetarian um uh salad but again you it it's only one it, literally one ingredient away from being vegan so that's good enough for me right <laughs> and i hope it's good enough for everybody else too mm. so um obviously well you know i some people uh, feel that it's the right way for them. It's, you know, and I'm not here to tell any. I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. 
Well, yeah. You know, I, you know, I, I'm I'm one that uh, eating to me eating meat supports farmers, and uh, oh no 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 vegan uh, vegans uh, what they do it, it, the the vegan lifestyle doesn't use any meat product, um, to my knowledge they they even have special cheeses and things like that. no meat product whatsoever no milk no cheese no nothing. And okay, uh, Princess Faye was kind enough to shout that out. Uh, if it comes from an animal, a, a, a vegan will not eat it. A vegetarian, just no meat. Uh, they can have things that came from animals, but you know. And of course, some vegetarians will even still eat fish. Mm. And Princess Faye was just kind enough to say some vegetarians will still eat fish. Uh, myself personally. Um, you know, I, you know, I like, I like seafood. I still like, uh, you know, a good steak, you know, and I'm not going to take that away. From, you know, it basically I won't put down someone, I won't put down someone's lifestyle as long as no one puts down mine. <laughs> I think that's a fair, that's a fair exchange, right? I think we can. Uh, no, McDonald's actually has, uh, uh, McDonald's, I can actually, because I work there, uh, McDonald's does have, uh, vegetarian options and they do have vegan options. Uh, and I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, you know, we can even, we can even do foods with no salt. Uh, you know, honestly, you know, right. You know, <laughs> Uh, you know, McDonald's has come a long ways and, uh, you know, and, and I'll say this again, you know, um, here on the Prince Magnum channel, we don't necessarily, you know, say go eat out, you know, because surviving romance, a lot of what we do is cooking at home. That's so, sorry about that. Someone trying to send, call me up and ask me if I want, you know. It, it, you know, there's it, honestly, you know, I mean, there are days, you know, that, you know, I just don't want to cook and going out to eat and grabbing a bite, you know, whatever the case may be. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. You know, there's nothing wrong with enjoying, you know, enjoying fast food every now and again. And there's nothing wrong with eating at expensive restaurants. It's just that here on the Prince Magnum channel, we advocate cooking before going out to eat, you know. But if you're in a hurry or you're just beat dog tired after a long day of work, there's nothing wrong with going out, you know, and I, and, and I won't hold it against anybody. And as a matter of fact, we have done reviews of quite a few restaurants in our area and stand to do more, you know, um, because these places, the people there work hard and, uh, you know, we all work hard. We all work for a living and, uh, there's nothing wrong with a restaurant, you know, um, you know, and, you know, and again, if you, if you're like me, I enjoy a good burger every now and again, I enjoy a good steak. Um, you know, I like to do that stuff at home, but you know, if I'm out and I've been running all day and you know, I'm dog tired, what do you think I'm going to do? You know, just the way it is. But I will say um, when you, I will make this suggestion. I, again, I can't tell anybody what to do, but what I will say is, um, if you're, uh, you know, if you're, you know, if you have to eat fast food regularly, make sure that you exercise regularly. <laughs> I've never had, but I've heard it's good. <laughs> you know, the things you learn in your supposed world travels, I guess you could say. I've been told alligator is good. <laughs> you know, um, you know, again, you know, uh, you know, it's just one of those things, you know. Uh, I have had crab. Crab is very good. I like crab. Uh, I've been threatening to do crab uh, here on the channel, um, which we'll probably get to that in an upcoming episode. 
Which episode? Ah, I won't. I won't tell you till it's, you'd, you'd like that one. Okay. Um, when we get to that episode, I'll I'll be sure to you know uh, to kind of give everybody a heads up because this is gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a real good one. I'll say I'll just give you this much. Um, you would be surprised at some of the Asian cuisines that I can do. We'll leave it at that. All right. Um, we'll just be surprised from there. Mm. Um, while we're also on the subject, oh, oh, uh, and we all got to say hi to, go ahead, there's Galaxy, for those who love black cats, we love our black cats, uh, we love, we love our black cat Galaxy, mm. uh, oh, <laughs> Uh, Galaxy is our little black cat that a friend of uh, Princess Faye's gave her, uh, what, over a year ago? Two plus years. I got her shortly after she was born. Yeah, she about, yeah she's about two years old now. Maybe she's like two and a couple months. What's that? Uh, yes, we're, we're cat people. As a matter of fact, um, um, my... That's not to say that I won't have a dog. I do want a dog. I'm not a big dog I just person, but for cats because they're more like me. They, you know, they they hate people. <laughs> uh, for the record, um, I'm I'm a big time cat person. As a matter of fact, my little buddy Tabor's roaming around here someplace. Um, I don't know if I find him, I'll bring him in. Yeah, uh, okay. you know. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. Cats are more calm. Yep. Uh, uh, you have obviously, sleep, obviously not had a cat at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Come here. There. Oh, look at your eyes. There you go. Now you can get a good look. She, I don't know why people hate black cats so much. They don't... I know there's some some religious types that, you know... Here you go. She's oh, one okay. to go. Okay. okay. I got her. I got there's her. some religious types that say that black cats will steal your soul i don't believe that but You're i know stolen my heart does that count i, I don't I, no that doesn't count the same and uh, we love her to pieces you know <laughs> she's getting fussy you're gonna have to let her down <laughs> of course like i said we all love our cats um but yeah. but if you got a dog i'm looking for <laughs> Not right now. We're not in a big enough place yet. Oh, you're in the UK. Wow. I did not know that. I mean, that is awesome. And that that makes me very happy that uh, people are coming on from other countries. It, you know, I, um, you know, the United Kingdom and the United States uh, are as uh, General Patton once said, uh, they're uh, they're two countries separated by the same language. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, for the record, uh, being that being mentioning the uh, the UK, my grandfather uh, when he during the <laughs> my grandfather during the Second World War got to spend time in uh, in in the United Kingdom and. Uh, Oh, I don't. I'm good, babe. Uh, could you uh, bring my coffee cup with coffee in it? Of course. Thank you, dear. Um, the uh, he was uh, over there. I don't know which part. He he he's he's gone. He passed away uh, back on. Believe it or not, on September 11th, 2000, one year before the World Trade Center uh, was attacked. Uh, my my grandfather was 75 years old when he passed uh but he was a veteran of the second world war and see my uh on my uh, he's you know my grandfather on my dad's side of the family uh he was actually um we uh, i come from that side of my family is it comes from an old german family well it, it was one of those things it, it, it believe, believe it or not my grandfather um was a uh, his his profession, uh, because after the war he ended up going to college, 
uh, the profession he came out of uh, college with was he was a watchmaker. And when's the last time you've seen a watchmaker? You know, he was very good at, at building watches and, and that sort of thing. Thank you, dear. Appreciate it. You, of all the things, yeah, he would uh, fix and uh, repair uh, the old... Well, where we live uh, here in the United States, not so much. I mean, it does exist, but not so much. Princess Faye, my loving wife, brought, of all the things, she's being very comical. She brought me a very old coffee cup that I had, and I had asked if she could bring me some, uh, you know, a cup of coffee. So this is what she did. <sighs> very, very funny, dear. Very funny. Ah, now that's a little better. You're out of coffee in the pot, so I'm going to make you a whole... Brand new batch and <laughs> You're getting a laugh. Uh, you're getting a laugh right now. Um, and of course, my Punisher coffee mug. Um, one of the next episodes uh, that we'll do. Yep. Uh, one of the next episodes that we'll do here on Surviving Romance, believe it or not. I'm going to show you all how to do uh, some very... Uh, I know a lot of people like coffee shops, uh, like Starbucks and places like that. What we will do in one of the next episodes is I'm going to show you all how to make uh, some of your uh, some homemade syrups and different coffee drinks uh, that that will that will rival places like Starbucks. OK, so we're going to do some stuff like that uh, because, again, here on Surviving Romance, the thing that I am super, super big about is giving the wife bragging rights. And how cool would it be if uh, you could do those coffee house style uh, coffee drinks? I knew I'd get you interested. Uh, when you could do those coffee house style uh, drinks and things like that, uh, that just, you know, uh, and you could do it at home. Uh, obviously, the wife can invite the friends over. Come over, have some coffee, you know, coffee. It's better than what you'll get down at your local coffee shop. Wouldn't it? So we're going to do that. I'm going to show you all how to make a, a vanilla syrup. And uh, I haven't quite worked to finish it. I haven't tried it to do it yet. But I do know how to make my own chocolate syrup. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, might even, uh, you know, might even show you how to, you know, how that works with coffee and everything. And if I can get the stuff together, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, almost like a, uh, like a McDonald's style frappe drink uh, that's very cheap, very easy to make. Um, and we might even throw in some uh, whipped cream and all that good stuff. We'll make, uh, we'll make probably in one whole episode. How do I know? Well, um... Some of the stuff that you see me do is, and I'll confess, uh, some of the stuff you see me do, I learned uh, from another cooking show. I just change it because the cooking show that I got it from, sometimes he does it where anybody can do it, and then sometimes it can get downright expensive. So I will change and rearrange the, the recipe so everybody can do it, period. And uh, the, the chef that, that I learned a lot from, from watching on... Uh, uh, from Food Network is Chef Alton Brown of Good Eats. Uh, I've learned a great deal of stuff from him, but I simplify a lot of things. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's rebranded, but it's, you know, it, it it's made simpler so everybody can do it. Because I know, like myself, there's a lot of people out there that are hardworking, that don't have a whole lot of money, and... You know, when he says, oh, you have to do it this way. No, you don't. I usually, um, because Prince, I work in the daytime, and, uh, you know, like seven to four. It's not uncommon that I'll come home and uh, cook uh, supper for Princess Faye. Um, or sometimes she'll just bring something home or whatever, you know. Uh, like earlier today, she was getting ready to go to work, but she was working her side job. Um, she uh, proofreads uh, depositions in another from another state. Um, 
uh, and uh, she was hired by her best friend that she's known since middle school and cool stuff like that. Well, she was working hard. I knew she was hungry because I was getting hungry. So I turned around and decided to make a, a cheese quesadillas, okay, because I knew she was hungry. Uh, so I'll, you know, I, I, I will openly say I do a lot of the cooking, but she does a lot of the baking. And when she tells me uh, that she's cooking, I have to remove myself from the kitchen. <laughs> you know, um, I guess you could say in many ways we share those duties together. Which there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, when it comes to the big uh, heavy duty cooking, you know, the big, you know, the big, uh, a lot of times the, the more, ex the more extravagant recipes that's uh, that's where I kind of do my thing. I'm gonna turn up the volume on my movie and check kinda, it more so I don't bother you. Okay. When you come back out to do more though, just turn my movie down and you can continue. Yeah, then uh, for you know, um, so that's that's one of those things. Uh, right now she's watching Jurassic World. Um, we are getting closer to time. When that timer goes off, which I'll hear it all the way in here, believe you me. Uh, we will... Yep, dang good movie. Um, when that time comes, we will go out and we'll pull the uh, the rice and uh, we'll, uh, we'll start right from there. Again, we are doing brown rice in the oven, which is actually 100 times easier than what we've been trying to do. I tried it on the cooktop. And every time it always ends in disaster. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to find a brown rice recipe that I can do because I like brown rice. Um, I, I like rice, period. Uh, rice is very healthy. It's good for you. Um, and brown rice is even better for you. Uh, obviously, because of the non saturated uh, fat oils in it, uh, it's good for the heart. Uh, because it's got bran, it, it's, you know, uh, it's good for keeping you regular, you know, things like that, you know. Yes, it's very delicious, very healthy. Um, it's just that it's one of those things that most people don't do it because of the fact that it is so difficult to do. Well, this simplifies things and, um, you know... Every time I've done it, it takes a ton of water. I'm never happy with the taste uh, because it's always you know, crunchy. I can never get it right. Um, you know, regular uh, white rice, I can always, you know, I can always nail it. Um, you know, things like that. Um, but when doing uh, brown rice, a little tougher. Uh, we are going to do a regular... I know at one point we probably will be exactly, uh, and I have done uh, brown rice in the oven. Now this is, today will be like the fourth time I've done it, and uh, um, I've even accidentally forgot and let it go, and it still came out absolutely fantastic. Um, and the leftovers uh, when you do this particular salad is even better. So there you have it. Hmm. Okay, um, if y'all haven't had a chance to see, I have loaded a lot more videos from me on stage singing. We've got a couple more to load. Um, one of them in particular, I'm very proud of. I did a version, again, I did another version of Rock and Roll All Night, but I was a complete ham. I was out in the audience. Um, I, I mean, just a complete ham, uh, you know, and I had a great time. There you go. So, and and I hope that I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode when you watch it on the playback. Again, um, take everything you possibly can. Run with it. Run with it as far as you can. Uh, you know that's that's what this is all about. Again, uh, when I do recipes on here, it is it's to give you an idea. And uh, if you got a sweetheart, I hope that. Your sweet, you do it for your sweetheart, and I hope she enjoys it as much as I know Princess Faye will enjoy this. Mm. Uh, let's see. On the Prince Magnum watch, uh, we've got a couple car shows coming up, but right now we're on hold. 
uh, because we're waiting for the new spindles to come in for Project Spirit. Um, and I've got to order off uh, two more parts, uh, something that I actually forgot. We'll talk about that in another, uh, in another uh, live stream when they get here. Okay, uh, that they should be in around Monday or Tuesday. So we'll get to that when we get to it. Also, 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 um, the Prince Magnum channel, uh, we will be looking at doing a, uh, most people don't know this, uh, I'm a very good amateur magician, okay? Um, believe it or not, I'm a very good amateur magician. And uh, I have gotten good enough that um, being a being an employee at McDonald's, I have gotten to uh, uh, perform with Ronald McDonald. That was awesome. Thank you, Ronald. Uh, the Ronald McDonald who came from St. Louis uh, three uh, three weeks after the uh, Farmington one location oh it reopened. Uh, it was it, it, very nice. It, it, you know, very nice guy. Very nice guy, and I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed performing with him. Anyhow, uh, let's see. And uh, where I was going with this, uh, there is a museum over in Farmington uh, that's going to be doing a fundraiser uh, probably around October. And they're talking about bringing in some magicians and doing some different magic and things like that. And I have been asked if I would be willing to come in and uh, and do a, uh, and do a little bit of magic uh, for those wonderful people at that um uh, at that particular, um, during that time. Okay. Uh, so I will probably be doing a fundraiser for a museum over in Farmington, Missouri. So if you're in the area, you're more than welcome to come by and, and watch me, Prince Magnum, perform a little bit of magic. Um, you know, uh, nothing like it, nothing like it. Um, you know, uh, I love doing, uh, I love doing magic for the kids. The kids, uh, eat that stuff up and, Doggone it, it's fun for me, you know. Well, I know we are getting close to that time uh, where we will be, we need to go into the kitchen. And so we're going to go back into said kitchen, okay? And uh, we're going to take the coffee cup with us because I imagine um, we're at that stage. Mm, it is hard to carry all of this. Honey, did you turn down the volume of... I forgot to even turn it up, so you're good. Okay, awesome. All right, so y'all are walking with me right now back to the kitchen because I know we are getting close to that time where we are going to be... ...working on our brown rice salad. Uh, I need a better way to do this. Okay. And uh, I also want to thank anybody who has been kind enough to come with us on this episode. All right. And we're going to top off our pickled garlic. We a little bit left over if I wanted to make a vinaigrette. Awesome. There we go. We're just going to lightly cap that and let it steam out a little bit more. And uh, let's see. Well, we've got about 20 minutes left, okay? And again, now is definitely a time you want to start getting everything together uh, while we're here in the kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of bowls out because we're going to need them. And uh, when, you're, when you're cooking for your sweetheart or maybe you got the in-laws coming over, now's definitely a time that you... Uh, you definitely want to show off for the in-laws. Hi, Mom. <laughs> um, and if you haven't already, definitely also a time to get your vinaigrettes. When you, you know, your vinaigrette and other stuff together. Now, real quick, we're going to talk about garlic. Garlic is very good for the heart. And uh, it's very, you know, it, it's a great way uh, to, it's very healthy, just very healthy. That's why, you know, you know, why take garlic pills when you can, you know, cook with it? You know, come on. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Good point. Um, so, you know, definitely, you know, um, you know, 
I like to I like to cook with garlic. I love garlic. Uh, that's why we even pickled some garlic. That's what that is here. Um, if you missed it, watch a playback. Okay, uh, showed y'all how to uh, how to reuse uh, your pickle brine, and of course, I, I don't as much as possible. I believe in not wasting anything if at all possible. Okay, so definitely, 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 I like to reuse. Uh, as much of my food items as I possibly can get away with and of course this particular recipe just gets better over time uh, whereas regular white rice uh, we know how when you put it in the refrigerator it crystallizes blah 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 we all know that this particular recipe won't do that it'll stay nice and chewy and, and it's just it's really good I doubt it'll last past two days you know, I love, and if you're like me, I love food. You know, who doesn't love food? <laughs> you know? All right. So, time for a little bit of coffee. Coffee break. Thank you, dear. Um, again, one of the next episodes that we will be doing here on the channel is uh, we're going to be looking at, again, uh, making... Uh, some cafe style coffee drinks. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope all of you decide to join me on that, um, if at all possible. And if you can't, there's always the playback, you know, and there's no harm in the playback. Um, you know, I still get watched, and uh, the more and more people that subscribe to the Prince Magnum channel, the more and more we can build this up into something even more than uh than ever before okay and that is our hope to build that build this uh i guess you could say build this up into a channel that goes above and beyond um you know let's just say there's a, a the nicest way i know how to put it there's enough video game reviews and and uh let's plays on youtube let's make uh let's make do it yourself um, more of a thing of the future, I guess is, uh, the politically correct way to put it. Okay. Um, again, if you're joining us and you missed out on how, uh, on the brown rice recipe, uh, by the way, Princess Faye made me this little booklet, quite the crafty little young lady that she is. Uh, we have one and a half cups of brown rice, uh, Two and a half cups of water, a tablespoon of butter, and a tablespoon of kosher salt in a 375 degree oven for one hour. And the moment the timer goes off in 16 minutes, we are going to pull that out. We're going to set it up and we're going to fluff the rice. We're going to add our vinaigrette. We're going to add some garlic. Uh, we're going to add some of our refrigerated pickle melody from a couple weeks ago. And uh, we're going to add some water chestnuts. And this is going to be one heck of a salad, okay? Doggone. A lot of stuff to take in. A lot of stuff to take in. All right. And uh, so that's where all this stands. And uh, if you missed it earlier, you're going to have to watch it in the playback. Uh, obviously, you all got to see Little Galaxy, our little black cat. So, And I don't know about the rest of you all, but I love me some black cats. Of course, she's a sassy little thing. Well, in the meantime, while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and go back into the office since we're waiting very patiently. And uh, let's see, let's uh, also talk about um, some, uh, let's see. What else can we talk about that we need to touch base on? Um, also, 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 we are looking at doing, um, we're gonna be adding a, a we're going to be adding a, a segment soon. Uh, well, we're going to be doing a, another live stream here in the very near future. And um, we will definitely need as many people as possible uh, on this live stream because it's going to be a, a, a surviving romance. And I'm going to throw out some things that I have learned uh, being married and all. Um, kind of, you know... Um, Besides the cooking and besides, uh, 
you know, the usual stuff. I'm going to throw out some stuff that I have used and hopefully all of you can use it too. So this is definitely an opportunity for you guys to pick up some romance tips. And while we're also at it, um, we're going to flip flop it a little bit because I usually do this for husbands and, um, we're going to flip flop it a little bit. And I'm also going to give, uh, the wives the inside track on, uh, on how to, on some stuff when dealing with your romantic husband. Uh, now, real quick, while we're also on that subject, while we're waiting for the rice to finish, uh, let us let me again make very sure that you all understand without a question, um, when I talk uh, husband, wife, um, I'm not always talking traditional sense. Um, you know, it's a new age and I have to grow with the times just like everybody else. And, uh, you know, um, I've had to change my outlook on a few things. And uh, one of those things that I've had to change my outlook on is, uh, see, I grew up during a time that homosexuality uh, was uh, kind of a taboo thing. And I've had to change my outlook on some of that stuff. And while we're on the ch subject of change, I'm going to have to change uh, out my my sunglasses, because these, for some reason, I'm just, they're, my eyes are sweating and they're fogging up and I can't, I can't see because I'm actually close enough. I can still see everything. So if anybody puts any comments up there, it's going to be easy for me to miss. So I'm going to kind of slide off camera for just a second. Again, I don't show my complete face on, uh, on YouTube out of respect for Alcoholics Anonymous because we're supposed to remain anonymous at the level of press radio film and now the internet okay now i can see the screen a little bit better like i said i'm close enough i can actually read uh read comments and whatnot okay mm. and i know i shouldn't be smoking but i do anyways you know um it's one of my last nasty habits left i'm not drinking booze you know come on um Let's see. Um, so uh, in this, one of the next, uh, you know, so I've had to change with the times. And when I say husband, when I say wife, uh, I, let me say, I don't care if it's a man and a man, a woman and a woman, a uh, traditional man, woman, a shoot, I even uh, knew a couple that uh, there was two guys and one woman. They were, you know, it was like that. Um, whatever your relationship is, who, you know, how, you know, your significant other, some way, shape or form, it's going to fall down to where one of you acts like a husband, the other one acts like a wife. So whatever it is in your world, um, that's what I'm referring to. Okay. If you will, I'm, I'm use those terms in a generic sense. So, uh, what I'm going to do in one of the next ones, obviously, uh, I, I want some inside info, from some of you and uh and we're gonna and i'm gonna give i he already he already took off for the night we he already took off for the night you know what i've been ha uh, today's a brown rice episode and uh we're just waiting for the the rice to uh uh we're just waiting for the rice uh to finish cooking um uh We'll we'll do kind of a recap when it comes time, but it basically it's a brown rice salad. Uh, oh, there you go. There you go. My kind of my kind. It sounds wonderful. You'll have to you'll have to give me the recipe. You'll have to definitely give me the recipe, and I'll have to do it here on the channel for you. Hmm. But don't be surprised if I don't tinker with it a little bit, but that's just what I do. <laughs> I tinker with everything. You can't leave me alone for five minutes. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, we're, we're actually in this particular recipe, kind of a quick recap. Uh, I'm showing how to do brown rice in the oven because it's a lot easier trying to do it on the cooktop. Um, we're going uh, gonna to turn that brown rice into a salad, and um, there will be... Uh, it. 
It's going to be mostly vegetables. Uh, there's going to be water chestnuts. And we're even using, for some of our vegetables, the pickle melody that we did um, a couple of... Uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we're actually going to be using some of that today in this particular recipe. Um, really, I mean, it, this recipe is almost completely vegan. You would only, to make it 100% vegan uh, for our, uh, for my uh, vegan uh, fan base, um, all you would have to do is take out the butter that we used for the rice and and use uh, something like uh, classic olive oil or cold pressed olive oil uh, gra or grapeseed oil and you would be in the clear. Everything in this recipe uh, otherwise is uh, vegan friendly. So that is exciting for, uh, for uh, my vegan fan base and obviously uh, cooking here on Surviving Romance, all these episodes in some way, shape, or form, are dedicated to my wife, Princess Fei Ru. Why? Because I love her that much. And, you know, again, you're going to hear me constantly say, if she's worth it, you'll do it, you know. Um, which, you know, I'm one of those people, you know, I, I believe that my wife is worth it, so I do it. <laughs> um, which we were talking about one of the, ne one of the next... Surviving Romance episodes that's going to be coming up. Uh, we're going to talk, uh, obviously, we're going to do the uh, uh, the cafe coffee uh, recipes, which I love doing uh, specialty coffee drinks. Again, bragging rights for the missus. Great from whenever she, uh, she decides to have friends over. Uh, they can, they don't have to go to a coffee shop. They can come home and I can, and I can give my wife bragging rights, you know. And who doesn't like uh, coffee like what you can get at Starbucks and places like that. It's just expensive. And if you can do it at home, it's even better, you know. So we're going to definitely do that. And we're also looking at, again, uh, and this is going to be more of a debate, but at the same time, I'm going to be giving some inside tips, uh, obviously some inside tips to husbands and, uh, and some inside tips uh, for wives on how to deal when their husband may have always been or or has turned into uh, Mr. Romance, or it is a new age, Mrs. Romance, if you will. It is a new age. I just have to say that. Um, you know, who, whatever the husband is in your relationship, um, you know, when they turn into, uh, you know, the romantic type, or maybe they've always been, how to deal with that. Okay, because, and of course, I'm going to leave it open for debate uh, because, you know, it, it is going to be difficult. I'm going to have to watch my wording when I do some of this because there are people that come onto YouTube uh, that just look for things to, to put down somebody else and things like that. Oh, you're chauvinistic or whatever. And that isn't even the case. So we don't want to do that. Um, so I'm going to have to really be careful with my wording. Well, when I say husband, I'm talking about, um, what I'm talking about is in a generic sense. Um, and I just briefly talked about this. Uh, when I say husband, even in a situation where, uh, maybe it's a, a, a you know, a couple of, uh, and, and I don't use the word gay. I think that that we use that word wrong. I don't like it the way that we use it today because I know how it's supposed to be used. So I, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, or, or, you know, I don't like lesbian. I think, uh, I think that we use, <laughs> and no, it's awesome. I think it's funny. Um, I think we use those words. Uh, they're, they're too derogatory. So I, I, I actually use the more scientific, approach and I say, you know, homosexual. And uh, to me, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, to me, that's the more, to me, that's more politically correct than saying gay and lesbian. Uh, to me, that that feels, you know, it, it kind of covers all the bases. So whether you're in a, you know, uh, two homosexual guys, two homosexual ladies, at some point, um, 
one or the other or whatever is going to come out and be more like your traditional husband, if you will. And even if that is the case, that's, you know, when I say husband, that, you know, it pertains to them too. So, you know, so I say husband in a generic sense. And I know there's a dear friend of mine, even here on YouTube, that has a hard time with that. He's getting better, but he has a hard, he struggles with it. He's a little, you know, he's got a few years on me. And uh, because of that, you know, I overlook it. Uh, but I've learned that, you know, that even I, Prince Magnum, have to change with the times. And uh, I've kind of gotten over that, okay? And, uh, you know, at some point we're, you know, I, I guess you could say, um, I lost my prejudice a long time ago. So, um, I'm grateful that I have lost my prejudice, uh, because I think it held me back, you know? Uh, no, no, he's not. Uh, but he struggles with that particular subject of being understanding towards people who are, um, you know, and I'm not, I'm not putting them down for it. Okay. And I, and I won't put anyone down because him and I do come from a time frame where that wasn't okay. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. It, 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 okay. In all fairness, you know, again, while we're waiting for the rice to finish up, um, I grew up in a time where um, no one really talked about the homosexual women, but the homosexual men, uh, there was a lot of misconception about them and there was a lot of bad things said about them. Um, for example, uh, and uh, one of the things that I was told when I was young, really young, we're talking even as a kid, you couldn't trust a homosexual man uh, because he was a pedophile uh, and things like that, um, you know, that they're that they were very horrible people. Of course, I've learned later on that that wasn't true. And, and that's just one of those things. Um, that was the time I grew up in. And um, even homosexual men had to be very careful a uh, long time ago because um, a long time ago when I was younger, if you found if you know, adult men, you know, heterosexual men found a homosexual man and they knew it, uh, that homosexual man had to fear for his life. And that's the time frame that I grew up in. It was like that. It, it was definitely like that in the 70s. And we were just starting, starting to get over that in the 80s. It wasn't until the late 90s that we, you know, that guys like myself had to start learning how to put that prejudice aside. So I was already in my late teens struggling with this. And it wasn't until I would say my very early 20s when I learned uh, how to get over that. For, uh, for Bert, he's still learning, okay? And, and I don't think we could fault him for that because of the upbringing that we had, okay? And um, I came from a very old Catholic family. Most of my family is still Catholic. And uh, there's a lot of prejudice towards uh, homosexuals, um, which is why I'm very grateful that, uh, that I'm pagan because it has allowed me to be more open-minded. And, uh, you know, uh, that's just how it is, you know. Uh, so I definitely, you know, uh, that's just one of those things. Um, I even grew up in a time frame where, uh, where racism was still kind of a thing, um, you know, and it still is, but it's not as, it's not as it once was, you know, you know, you know, and, and when it, you know, again, when it comes to, uh, religious views, um, you know, I take what I need from each one. You know, there's a little something to learn from every one. Honey. Your alarm. Yeah, I know. I hear it. Okay. Why? Never. All righty. <sighs> Off to retrieve our brown rice. 
It is that time, my friends. Time to make a salad. Now, again, the leftovers are fantastic. So, even if you make too much, don't panic. All righty. First things first. I need to grab some sort of heat protection. Let's get the camera straightened out here real quick. We're going to plug this in. All right. Now, we're going to grab... Please, please, when you're getting stuff out of the oven, I don't necessarily need to say this, but please, for crying sakes, wear some sort of protection. Because if you don't, two words, burn ward. Okay. So we're going to be very careful as we retrieve our brown rice. And turn the oven off right now. Now, because there is going to be steam, again, let's be careful, okay? I don't want anybody getting hurt. There we go. Let's see how well the camera is going to pick this up. There you are. Okay. So, let's go ahead and grab a, a fork. We're going to go ahead and fluff the rice. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Again, we did this in the oven, and you can see it's come out absolutely fantastic. Now, you could eat it like this, but we are definitely going to do a vinaigrette. All right, first things first. Let's add our garlic, and this is plenty warm enough to cook the garlic. Let's add our water chestnuts. Okay. And... Our pickle melody from a couple weeks ago. Let's get some of that out. We'll get a plastic spoon that's disposable. And look at that. We're gonna put as much as we pot. We're gonna use it all. Heck with it. Still a little warm. So we're gonna slide this a little closer so I don't make a big giant mess. And looking good so far, isn't it? There we go. We're just gonna use it all, use it all. And if, real quick while I'm doing all of this, if you're wondering, earlier I also showed how to, how to pickle garlic. And we'll use that in a later episode. And we'll even get some of the cucumbers out. Now, there we go. Uh, I, you know what? I think that's pretty good. Lots of color, lots of flavor already. And the vinaigrette that I started earlier. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Uh, about a tablespoon of, of uh, parsley, dried parsley. Uh, you can buy that at your local supermarket. Along with uh, two, tables, uh, two tablespoons of our pickle brine for our bread and butter pickles that we did two weeks ago. Use that in here as well. Along with, uh, believe it or not, Along with uh, two, well, a single tablespoon, well, around a single tablespoon of brown sugar, and uh, a tablespoon of of ground mustard. Okay, so we're gonna make sure the lid's on good and tight. We're gonna shake this up. I basically made it up earlier uh, to prepare for this, and it's all shook up real good. Looks wonderful. And we're going to pour this right on the top because just that little bit will go a long ways. And I'm going to go ahead and get a spatula and we're just going to fold that in just like that. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, that smells wonderful. We have, we have the vinegar and we have all this wonderful stuff. Now you can add cilantro, parsley flakes, whatever, whatever herb that you like at this point. And again, this is my favorite, favorite brown rice vessel that I got specifically 
for making ground rice in the oven. Does an amazing job. Of course, I obviously, um, obviously, you can use this for making uh, your macaroni casserole, macaroni and cheese casserole, or other casseroles for that matter. There we go. Now, that <gasps> looks fantastic, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, honey. What? You ready, Freddy? All righty. Yeah. Here we go. You hungry? Good deal. And of course, well, your bowl's pretty well ready. Uh, just about ready. I'm just about finished spooning this up for you. And of course, Princess Bay. And any good live stream will get to tell you whether or not she likes it. Okay, honey. Hang on a second. I'll be right back, folks. And, uh, and put, you said you weren't super hungry, but I put a little bit in there for you. And, of course, I got to get my own, right? <laughs> As soon as you get a bite, I need you to shout out to the camera if it's good. And now again, this will keep in the refrigerator for a good while. And it doesn't get, you know, crunchy like regular white rice. Ta-da! Just like that. Now, of course, we'll go back into the office. And, uh, we'll... I'll even try it out for myself. Let y'all see me eat my own work, if you will. <clears throat> there we go. And off we go again. <laughs> this is the most I've moved this, uh, you know, moved around in a live stream. All right. Now I'm hoping Princess Faye gives a gives a shout as soon as possible, so you all can hear whether or not it's good. If not, I'll have to wait till the next live stream. Takes her a second, you know. It's good. There you go. How good is good? All right, there we go, and good bite for myself. I gotta try this out, because it smells wonderful. Oh my God. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, mm. That is amazing. It's amazing. All right. So, before I get to the usual spot, again, we are looking at doing, um, uh, obviously, a coffee episode. We're working up to, um, you know, a couple more rice episodes. Um, and, um, let's see. We're going to be making... Um, on the coffee episode, we're going to be making homemade hot, uh, well, homemade uh, chocolate syrup, and we're going to probably be making uh, homemade vanilla syrup, along with, uh, believe it or not, uh, let's see, we're also looking at doing uh, some more macaroni and cheese episodes, including a very historical style macaroni and cheese, uh, dates back to the 1700s, so we're definitely going to do that as well, Okay. Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, we're also going to be uh, probably doing a stovetop macaroni. Not from the box. Thank you very much. 
Um, and we might even be looking at doing uh, some more fondue recipes. Uh, who knows where we're going to go with Surviving Romance. But definitely we are going to be doing a debate very soon. Um, so, um, um, as much as I would like to do a vegan macaroni and cheese episode, the problem with that is, is where I live, uh, getting the, um, uh, the vegan cheese, uh, that would be required for it is like near impossible, but I'm pretty sure that we can make it work. Okay. Um, I have not gotten to that point yet where I can make cheese, but I'm learning, um, yeah, I know, I, I know that you can do it. I'm just, uh, let me try the, the, uh, traditional cheese first. Uh, we're working up, I've actually got a recipe as of recent that, um, that I'm going to have to give a shot on. Okay. Uh, it's, you know. I'm not a surprise. Uh, it's one of those ones that, um, let me give it a try first. Uh, start my hand at it, and then we'll give it a try. Okay? Um, you know me. I love to do homemade stuff, and uh, that is a challenge. So it might take me a minute, you know, because I got a million projects on my plate. But I will definitely give it a try. Okay? Well, I appreciate your vote of confidence. That means the world to me. Um, and uh, again, I love making I love making homemade foods. Um, most definitely. Uh, all right. Well, my salad is screaming my name. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring this to the usual spot. Again, if you are a fan of do-it-yourself budget hot rodding, uh, we've got some parts coming in uh, probably around Monday, so it'll probably be somewhere shortly after that. We're going to definitely touch base on uh, on the upcoming changes to Project Spirit. We're also going to be starting to look at some changes that are going to be need to be made to Project Lena. Uh, there will be some changes that will be coming to Project Lena. Um Let's see. Uh, so those those things will be forthcoming. So if you're a fan of hot rodding, stick around. We've got that coming. Also, uh, expect more video footage from me on stage singing karaoke. I wish the videos sounded better. It's much better live. But at least those who can't be here with us, who can listen to, a, uh, listen to me sing live, can at least enjoy it in some way, shape, or form. And one of the next ones I'll be loading. Oh, buddy, I was a ham. Anyhow, uh, we're uh, sometime here in the very near future. We're going to start loading some of my uh, some of my edited videos. Uh, we've got car shows and footage working on the cars and things like that. Uh, so definitely, you want to stick around for that. And we're going to even be doing uh, some more stuff with um, with the various. Uh, you know, with the other, uh, with other, uh, car shows coming up, uh, the next one that I know I'm definitely going to be at is, uh, September 1st here in Bonterre at Griffith Automotive, their grand opening. Uh, they do a lot of custom car stuff and, uh, it would be very wrong if I did not go and, um, I guess you could say go and support a new local business. I mean, that, that would really, you know. You would be the first. Um, actually, I was, I was told that. Um, let's see. I was told that I look like uh, Julian Lennon, John Lennon. Uh, whenever I wear my goth makeup, I was told I look like Marilyn Manson. I've uh, been told I look like Johnny Depp. Um, you know, it's one of them things. <laughs> hmm. And uh, for the record, uh, you know, um, you know, uh, when I'm eating right and uh, exercising well, I do keep a nice six-pack stomach for the wife. You know, hey, it's important that I, you know, that's one of the something else that's going to be coming up soon when I 
during my romance tips, uh, one of the things that I definitely should probably talk about, you hear me occasionally mention when the bedroom door closes. Well, you know, some tips for the, uh, for, if you will, the husband to help himself uh, stay uh, fit, including some stuff on the other side of the fence that, uh, that it, when the husband, you know, whether he has always been or has turned uh, romantic, uh, some things that, she, you know, that the wife might need to know, okay? Uh, we're going to, we're going to do a two for one on that one, but that, uh, but we'll announce that one when it gets closer to time. All right. Let's see. So that pretty well covers it. Oh, oh, and again, um, I, Prince Magnum, uh, sometime, I think they're talking about in October, I will be at the museum over in Farmington, Missouri, uh, for a benefit to raise money for the museum. I will be there, uh, performing, uh, performing magic. Uh, I'm also an amateur magician. Uh, so I will be there performing magic, trying to help raise money for the museum. Um, I'm quite the accomplished uh, amateur magician. If you'd like to see some of the stuff that I do with cards, uh, there's a video, uh, an off the chain video where I was, uh, with Bert and, uh, him and I, uh, you know, and I was showing him some of the various tricks and it was one of my last edited videos that I loaded, uh, earlier this year. Definitely worth checking out if you like magic, you know. Uh, that's magic uh, without the K. <laughs> for those uh, for those people who uh, who know uh, understand the difference between uh, illusionary magic and uh, and occult magic. Okay, uh, maybe that's something else I should probably talk about and in your face. Um, so, all right, real quick, uh, that brings us to that usual spot. Check out the Patreon account. We're we're always accepting donations. Um, all donations will go directly back into Project Spirit. Um, we will try to fire up the, uh, the giveaway again. I, and no one was able to donate in the last one, but we'll fire it up again here very soon, uh, and try it again. And we'll shoot for, uh, probably sometime after the new year. Uh, the mini movie, um, I haven't had a chance to work on it. Been pretty busy these days. Um... Uh, you know, the work schedule changing. I'm not our maintenance man anymore. I'm back in customer service, ironically enough. I'm pretty good at it. Um, so uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to work on the mini movie, but it's pretty well ready. We'll probably do a video talking about that uh, sometime soon. We'll talk about uh, things that people should expect from that video. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that covers it. All right. So. Uh, again, check out the Patreon account. Uh, follow me on Twitter. At uh, you can follow me at, on Twitter, uh, Magnum underscore Prince. Uh, you're more than welcome to follow me on Twitter if you uh, if you'd like. Uh, you can go to um, uh, Feyru on. <laughs> We're gonna get to that epic outro. Um, if you go to uh, Princess Fay on her Facebook. Uh, it, even if you don't, uh, follow her on Facebook, you can still get to my account, uh, and you'll actually get to know my real name and get to know me, uh, what I'm like outside of the Prince Magnum channel, which isn't too terribly much different. I know, uh, Big Bad Bert, uh, thinks it is. Uh, not really. It's just when the shades go on, I ramp it up a little bit. Um, you know, that sort of thing. And, uh. So you'll get a chance to uh, to get to know me in, on Facebook as well. All right. Oh, you do. <laughs> well, just don't say it here on the channel. You know, I like to remain anonymous. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't use that one anymore. I don't use that one anymore. Um, I had problems. I had problems. So it was time to start a new one. So it worked out though. All right. So that brings us to the usual spot. My favorite spot in the video, the epic outro, as you put it. Um, and that goes like this. Get out there and work on a project. Right. Uh, get out there and work on a project.
Don't care what it is. Just do something with yourself. Again, idle hands and a creative mind make horrible bedfellows. If you have a sweetheart, sweep them off their feet and do something special for them today. Maybe you might make them a brown rice salad. And as always, for all of you out there, for all of you, no matter who you are, no matter what your past looks like, if no one out there has told you that they love you, Prince Magnum does. God bless you and have a happy 24. Thank you.